Danielle here again. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about how you start forming. So something that a lot of coaches ask me is kind of where do I begin? How do I start new conversations? Who am I supposed to reach out to? Um, I'm scared of sounding salesy. And so I wanted to talk about this because sometimes it's hard to know where to start and what's your platform to, to reach out to people. So what I kind of do is I start from a list. So when I start, first started coaching, um, I made a list of 100 people that came to mind. So most of them were probably close friends and family, people that I've kept in touch with. And that was kind of a little bit more comfortable for me to do. Um, so I use that list and each day I would talk to three people. So I kind of treated it like if you were to run into someone on the street and out of the blue you saw them and you haven't talked to them in two and three years, you wouldn't just keep walking by. You would stop and say hello and how are you and how's your family doing, um, how's your job, what are you, where are you living, um, you know, what are you doing outside of work, what, what things are you doing in life that I, I just haven't known about you or we haven't gotten to c catch up. And so sometimes this is hard to do on social media because you feel like you are after them for Beachbody. And that's totally not the case. You should definitely not be leading with Beachbody. You should want to just form a genuine connection with them, a, a genuine friendship that maybe was there before, but you're not sure that you've talked to them in a or talked to them in a while. Um, so you want to just kind of lead with your heart and lead with your genuine interest in them. And something that I like to tell new coaches is to start with two sentences and then one question. So this will help you ask them questions about themselves and your goal is always to get to the next answer, the next conversation with them. So you want them to go back and forth with you and not just say, oh, hey, Danielle, how are you? Um, I loved your dress from that wedding, hope all is well. Would you answer me back in that message? You might say, oh, thanks a lot for your great compliment, but that would probably be it. No, you wanna ask a question every single message so that you are controlling the conversation and you are reaching out to them with genuine interest in reconnecting with them. So this will kind of develop over time and you'll see what will kind of work, but it's really developing that relationship again and getting to their heart, getting to where they are in their life and maybe what's working for them and what's not. And most likely if you're going to go back and forth with them, they're going to start following your consistent posting, which is a great backup to exactly where you're forming with them. So you want to be that consistent positive light in their life and in return your conversations will become so much easier because they're watching what you're doing. Even if they're not liking or commenting any of the, your photos, it's going to come up at some point when you send that invite out for a challenge group. They're going to be like, wow, she's really doing something with her life. I need to know what it's about. Um, so really just forming is, is talking about family, is talking about their occupation, is talking about their recreation and their hobbies in life and, and what makes them tick, what's their passion, what have they tried out that's new. And sometimes when they tell me, um, oh, I, I love going to the gym or I join CrossFit or this new workout program, I always like to ask, how is that working out for you? Because a lot of times people are paying a gym membership or for these crazy yoga classes and I can almost 99% of the time guarantee that either A, they're not seeing the results they want or B, they're not going. So they're investing all of this money into something that isn't getting them where they truly want to be. And when they see that you are succeeding with something, you're going to have that opportunity to say, well, I've been doing these at-home workouts for about you know two to three months now, and I've finally gotten off those five pounds that have really been hanging there for a while that have been holding me back. Like, what are you struggling with? What, what are you 
not enjoying about your workouts or not seeing with the things that you're doing because you have an awesome solution in your hands. You have a gift to give to somebody with saying, let me help you, what's not working or what's not giving you what you want or where you want to be. So obviously you get more deep over time, but you want to ask as many questions as you can until you're probably blue in the face. You should never be leading with a sale or, you know, I'm doing this challenge group, you want to join. Well, number one, they don't know what a challenge group is and you haven't built that trust and relationship and loyalty from someone who really believes in what you're doing and, and is interested in changing. You have to get that relationship going. It's the same thing as dating someone. You don't just jump in and say, okay, you want to get married tomorrow or you want to move in together. No, you have to have those buildups. You have to have those dates and those conversations and that trust and belief over time where you're genuinely interested in that person. So I hope these tips kind of helped you with starting out to form and I look forward to sharing more of my tips along the way. Have a great day.